Would you want a taxi driver to take your child home from school? Some parents of children with special needs in Hamilton County have had to answer that question. Good evening. I'm Josh Rowe. I'm Kim Chapman. The school district uses contracted drivers to pick up students who live outside the bus route. But as News Channel 9's Brianna Arandondo tells us tonight, many parents are saying no thanks. Brianna. Kim, Josh, an anonymous parent called us to complain about the service. In fact, officials say they received complaints for the past three years. So we found out about why the district made the decision and how one parent deals with the situation. Kira Johnson of Saudi Daisy is on her way to pick up her 12-year-old daughter Raylan from Loftus Middle School. It's going to be rough this whole year if I have to do this. Johnson chose not to let her daughter, who has autism, ride home from school in a car with a contracted driver. Hamilton County introduced the service to Loftus Middle School this year. It is set up through a contract with American Logistics Company. The drivers drop off children who live too far for buses to travel, and it's a cost-saving option that relies on both shuttle and taxi drivers. We want to let, to let everybody know they've been background checked. This isn't just a taxi cab company come and pick up their their kids. According to the Loftus principal, more than half of families of students with special needs who qualified decided to opt out, meaning parents have to pick up the slack. Johnson says she worries for Raylan's safety. There was only going to be four girls all together riding with this taxi cab service. There would not be an aid. And what would happen whenever it only gets down to one or two kids in there with this complete stranger that they don't know. ALC says they train drivers to deal with students with special needs, and all of their drivers have to go through background checks. The company's communications vice president explains how they select drivers. We work with local transportation providers within the community that already live and work there, and we identify those drivers that are willing and that are able to service the special needs in population. It's the third year Hamilton County is using this service, and school administrators say they want to make sure all of their students are safe. A lot of times we get calls and parents are concerned about it at first, but then after they meet the driver, it's just like a school bus driver. You know, you get there, you get to know them, you develop that relationship, and then, you know, their worries kind of cease from there. School officials say they saved about $40,000 the first year they used this setup. Hamilton County School scrapped using taxi drivers back in 1999 for lack of driver training and security checks. Back to you.